Okay, so I'm co-hosting the Today Show. Last night, our makeup artist, their flight got canceled. So my friend Christopher Buckle is a world famous makeup artist. I mean, he does Christmas's makeup. Mariah Carey is Christmas, we can all agree. So he does her makeup, like number one makeup person. He's my friend, so for some reason he was available. I don't know what happened. Maybe Christmas got canceled, I don't know. But what I do know is that he said yes. Here's the catch. I said, hey Christopher, I know you work with like Charlotte Tilbury and every single major makeup artist in the world, but I wanna do drugstore makeup. I've been saying this to you for a long time. We've been talking about it. And I wanna do all drugstore makeup to co-host the Today Show. You never lie, tell me the truth. Have you ever done all drugstore makeup for a big event? Never. Can you handle it? We're gonna find out. All right, but here, TV. we will not lie about liking something. We do never do that. If we don't like something, we're gonna okay. say it. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna be honest. So we're gonna look great. I got you a lot of drugstore makeup brushes, okay. so we're gonna. I'm gonna show you some things you don't know. Okay. It's not about that. Here's the foundation. These are all Neutrogena, and I got L'Oreal True Match, and we have Milani Conceal and Perfect. So really, just look and decide. I've tried the L'Oreal; it's excellent, and I know that the Neutrogena is excellent. Milani swears by the other Conceal and Perfect. We shall find out. Let me see this one. Do you like a hydrating concealer or do you like a more spackly, be honest? I okay. use this one a lot of times on myself even. Oh, he but uses sometimes the Neutrogena on himself. Yeah, okay. I want it to cover, but I don't want it to be like heavy. This one is a great color for you too. So okay. I'm gonna try this one. The L'Oreal True Match we are trying. This is an e.l.f. brush, it has an angle. You know, it's good to keep these brushes clean because you like it's white so you know. Yes, so this color you think is really good? This color is great. Okay, and I always six. match it to the chest and then I do the neck because the neck is always a little pale. Okay, that's N6, L'Oreal True Match. And I'm working quickly, okay. just because we've got live TV. Yeah, don't worry, we're gonna be okay. I just want you to know something, you don't know, you keep working, I'll keep talking. Mm -hmm. This is literally from China. It's exactly feels, looks, and is the same as the Rare Beauty one. So well, everyone talks about what's made in China and, and not doing it, but the big brands are doing it too. Of course, to make money in this business, you gotta, you know, get each skew as cheap as you can. Right, this is not Rare Beauty, but look, it looks identical. This was $3. Okay, foundation. We did the foundation. Step one. On. Concealer. Here's what we have. The NYX can't stop, won't stop. Okay. I only have one corrector type thing, which is e.l.f. Well, I like the color of that. I okay, like a peachier me too. Tone. Me too. This is the peachiest I have, which is Maybelline, which is good. Milani Conceal and Perfect. I haven't tried that one. But if people okay. like it, they sent it as their best. Well, I'm gonna try this one. The Milani. Milani Conceal, Conceal and, Perfect. and Perfect. Okay. Sometimes I use a brush for this part too, but. I don't know. I have a great this brush if you okay. want one. This is an e.l.f. brush, it's a good brush. Do you like a fluff concealer brush or no? I do. Because I do. It's just that as a makeup artist, sometimes it's too full. Those little hairs can get too close to the eye. Oh, you know, okay. Because it's fluffy, oh. instead of it being more I understand. tight. This really know. does a good job at concealing. Wow, he likes the conceal and perfect. Amazing. Okay, Milani. The Milani concealer, it, it works. It concealed yeah, and perfected. Yeah, it concealed, okay. it perfected, it brightened. Well, All right. Yeah. Moving on. He says contour is next. This is a NYX contour palette, number one. Do you like cream or powder contour? I like a combo. Elf quad cream, multiple Ooh. colors. Can you believe all I have? Wow, okay. You got I have a great soul, which is, uh, I have a good soul. Soul as in sun? Soul as in sun. It's a bronzer. Very warm. I don't know if you'd like a warmy contour. Warm. This is like the Chanel. This is excellent. Okay. Do you think you have what you need so far? I definitely have what I need. Okay. I'm going with the NYX and the e.l.f. We didn't use a primer. Famous Christopher Buckle doesn't usually use a primer. You buy too much stuff, guys. I told you. About 16 primers. Doesn't use a primer. Using my $2 brush. Yep. To contour. Get right up in here. Mm -hmm. None of the brushes are over like five dollars. This one's really. I told nice. you. Are you shocked? I'm shocked. Wouldn't you? About wouldn't this. you pay fifty dollars for this brush? I've paid probably a hundred dollars for this. brush. Okay, I'm telling you. Three dollars. Yeah, because they're all made in China, and we can't get mad at me for buying things in China. I'm just. And telling they're you. vegan. I know. How do you know that? I just, I just said I know. That was a lie. Because it's. I could tell that's okay. synthetic brushes, but really nice quality. He said, let's do blush, and he likes a cream or a powder. This is the new L'Oreal. They're swearing by it. This is from the dollar store. It's very good. Milani has a really nice powder. By the way, the, there's a Milani I spooked over here that you use, that I actually use on Mariah. You use it on Mariah? Okay. Yes, for years. All right, that's the that coral exact one. That color. Okay, this is used on Mariah. These are other Milani, too. Listen, I don't love all the packaging. I'm not going to lie, but we got to worry about the product. Even the best packaging ends up breaking in my kit. He said he likes heat behind the blush. Yeah, that's and... heated. Here's heat. Heated. That's creamy heat. Let's see it. Let's see the payoff. I That's like pay good. Okay, so what brands is that? Yeah, I think it's LA. Oh, you don't worry about it. You well, go live I'm, your life. I just want to paint. Exactly. <laughs> Magic tattoo. It's from the drugstore. Not though. using that little nubby that brush, though. Terrible brush. Yeah, it's too, They're horrible. It's too stiff. Exactly. Smile. Nobody's looking for stiff. Things. Well, sometimes. By the way, that's true. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> no one's looking for limp things. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay. See that little bit? It's good. 
I mean, you're I'm dying over the three dollar brush. I'm obsessed. I know it's major. Don't buy brushes that are expensive. Powder. Okay, now he needs. Oh, just powder, powder. Okay. okay. Do you like loose or do you like, I like it flat? Loose. Okay, so loose is Maybelline Fit Me. Just make sure you like the color. Okay, never tried this. Oh so. my God, you're gonna like it a lot. Do you like your powder to have a color or only translucent? I usually use ones that don't have any pigment. Now, what brush do you want me to use? I want. I. I. They're all good. Then they're well, all drugstore. This one. TJ Maxx. It came with a sponge too. They called it a buffing brush. They okay. Yeah, that makes brush. sense. So far, so good. So far, so good. He said. A little more contour and powder in the NYX yeah, with palette. Powder, the from NYX. the NYX palette. We're using his own brush. He just got, he had it. All right, highlighter. I only have a few because I just wasn't prepared. This is Milani. It's a trio. I happen to have another Milani in like a palette that's a knockoff of Charlotte Tilbury. We have spongy highlighters from e.l.f. I think I'm going to go with this just because. The Milani because, trio. I like it too. Yeah, I so think I, it just okay. looks like predictable. I like to buff a oh, okay. highlighter. You like to buff a highlighter. That's because amazing. instead of putting more on, I like to buff it and it make, brings out the shine more. Where are we on this product? Let me see. Wow, it's and, good. And you you used <clears throat> all Charlotte Tilbury for Blake at the Met Gala, right? Yes, I did. So this is good on yeah, a one to ten. Yeah, this is great. Okay, Milani, you're you doing know, well today. Highlighter is, you know, mica for the most part. Right. It's everyone buys the packaging. He's using the L'Oreal I'm now. I'm going to the L'Oreal Smile. This is their new blush, True Match. People are into this. And it's pretty beautiful color. It I actually think it's beautiful looks like too. a Mac Mocha. You're a blush girl, though. You My face eats blush. Okay. Brows. Brows. You have to use yours unless you use the elf thing. I okay. just didn't bring. It's not it's his fault. Okay. That's the same shit every brand. Let's not get yeah, crazy. Yeah. We didn't cheat. He said, let's get eyeshadow going. We have a few options. This is Milani. Those are pretty. Okay, this Very is Pixi. autumnal Pix colors. Yeah, exactly. This is Pixie. Then if you want a little pop. NYX. Yeah, NYX. That plum is pretty. You I've know? never tried these, so the I'm NYX curious is good. about the texture. Like that I don't know enough about, so I'm curious to hear about the texture. I'm going to mix. I'm using different ones yeah, we from can't. Different We're not experts. We just want to know if the product's good. You, did you really know about any of these brands, to be honest? I, I look at them all the time in the drugstore, but I don't often buy them. Like, right. I'll do like the L'Oreal, the CoverGirl, Maybelline, some of those products, especially mascaras. I believe drugstore mascaras are the best. But I don't like high-end mascara because it's, I feel like I'm blowing my money. Yeah, you are blowing your money. Mascara, you never heard about Mascara Gate? No. We're going to use it. It's L'Oreal Telescopic. An influencer named Michaela posted a video of her in the mascara and it was like a before and an after it looked amazing and then TikTok they uh -huh. they realized that she had put like an Ardell lash. three wisp lash on the end but didn't disclose that Ooh. so they went crazy because they were mad that like it's not truthful in advertising and people are buying these products which is everything I've been saying she took a hit L'Oreal won and the product happens to be great and I'll show it to you it's L'Oreal telescopic so mascara gets shook the industry and it really kind of like started this whole de-influencing thing where instead of everyone saying everything they love so much to say truthfully what they don't like, but then it went too far the other direction. People just hating to hate. Well, I don't like that either. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to be a hater. You could just like tell the truth. But it brought up a whole thing in advertising and it changed social media campaigns because you're watching TikTok 24 hours a day as a commercial. It's a commercial and people don't realize it. They're basically shopping all day and don't mm -hmm. know they're being influenced. So is there a responsibility to be mm -hmm. honest? His broke, he put it in a jar. This is literally just pigment. And this is the Mariah color, Milani Mariah color. I'm using it too. That's kind of major. That's it. That's major. He says this is amazing if you have oily skin, shiny skin, Neutrogena shine control. I don't have that, but good tip. He had it in his kit. It's a L'Oreal. It's supposed to be like a highlighter. It's called Shimmerista, but it's a good like it's eye pop. Put it on your eye. It's looking good. I like it, right? Yeah. Isn't this great? Yeah, I like it. Because it's not too shocking. It's not too glittery. It's yeah, very fine. It's not fine. too metallic. Yeah, exactly. But it gives you the reflection that you need. Mm -hmm. You know what time it is? It's the mascara. It's mascara time. Okay, so we have L'Oreal Telescopic, which was the famous one that was Mascara Gate. Usually I look at the brush. Okay. Because, but my needs are different because as a makeup artist, the brush. I need it to be pretty small, otherwise right. it gets clumsy around the eye. Right, this is Revolution. I find I like a fat caterpillar thing, but I don't know. I find that this is very good, the Revolution. That's huh? the one, the telescopic, yeah. One. Well, that one, I like that brush, so I'm going to go with that. You're going with the black telescopic lift. This was the one that was the scandal that rocked is that social media. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. It's L'Oreal. Well, here we go. This is major. This is a real review. That's a Troy Surratt. Um, it's a more high-end curler, but it's really good. Oh, it, it feels very substantial. I also like that it's a matte black, so it doesn't, it's not shiny and reflective. Well, it definitely separates really well because the comb, it's like a comb. But what I like about it is I can use the flat side of it to lay the product down and mm -hmm. then separate it with the side comb. The thought going into this. And because it's a narrow brush, like you can look that way, I can get into the inner lashes really well without poking. You're getting it on your makeup or in your eye. 
I noticed a difference, but like I'm not dropping dead. It's a little hard actually to get a lot of product. Can you try on this one on top? First date impression. I'm like, get I get in, get out. That's a get in, get out. That's what I think. I want to see if I'm right. I thought that one was very like good. Yeah, I could totally see already that it's like laying product down much quicker. Right, I'm like, I have mascara on now. It's making it thicker and longer, and that's what I want to do as a normal human. And everyone tries to scam and say like, it's buildable. Like, I don't got to, ain't nobody got time to build. I need lashes, not a house. We're not building. You so wanna... you think that one's good? Yeah, this one, I, I'm gonna just go for this one on this side. Okay, great, so this is the revolution. It's, I'm sweating this like a in church. 5D whip lift. It's validating to me though, that like on my own, I've been sitting there being like, I don't understand, everyone's talking about this. Uh, why don't I see what they see? Like building and all this shit. I was like, I just wanna know. There's so much confusion in beauty business because as a consumer, you want the miracle. Right. Everyone but, wants a miracle. I want the miracle too as a makeup artist. But the thing is, it's just... It doesn't exist. It's paint. Exactly. And there is good paint and better paint. It's all just paint. I and know. And so if you just look at it like it's a box of Crayolas or, you know, crayons and watercolors and pastels instead of all the magical stuff. I agree. Fairy that's, why the, that's why I disagree with the filtering. Because the fairy dust is why you want to buy it. And you want the snatch and the glow and you think that the promise is real and it's not. You gotta just do the best you can. When I put a mascara on, I wanna put it on two swipes and get the fuck out the door. And that's what I think about this. We're gonna do our fairy dust of a lash now. Okay. That's a good shape for you. Okay, great, wispy. it's called Wispy, Ardell Wispies. Ardell, beyond. What do you like in lips? Do you like matte? Do you like a stain? Do you like a stick? Do you like a gloss? What do you, what do you like? I like everything. Okay. But for television, it's better to not be too glossy. These are the L'Oreal. Those glosses are really good. Maybelline does lipsticks, re lip glosses really well. And then I have like Milani for the pop at the end. I love this one, this Maybelline. Oh, this guy. This is like a knockoff of Charlotte Tilbury, your friend. Oh yeah, that's pretty. This one's good, but I want something with more pigment. This is no. Okay, great. The more sheer. pigment, sheer. This is one. This stays on, it's more nudie. Do you want that or do you don't? No. Okay. That looks a little brown to me also. Yeah, me too. You don't want brown. I don't want brown. Do I never want browns? Because I shy away from that. I, feel I like think they that look you dull. need you need a little of a brightness of a bluish pink because okay. you count you're very olive. I agree. So, go so we're gonna get all right. So I get to get rid of things today. This okay. one is good. I will say that that well, one is let good. Let me look at it. Okay. Super Excuse stay. me. This one is pretty because it's got a little bit of a hit. It's Maybelline of a Super Stay. It's excellent. So let's get lined. I got a NYX liner. I got. That feels good. The NYX liner. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. You fill in the whole lip, right? Yeah, when I use those stains. You did my makeup for my 50th birthday and everyone thought I got plastic surgery because <laughs> you do plastic surgery makeup. That's what you should be doing. Pla just, it's called plastic surgery makeup. It smells a little bit like a butterscotch. Exactly. Oh my God, you're so, that was crazy. Yes. It's exactly what it smells like. Is it pretty? Yeah, very pretty. I want to just tap it with my fingers so it blends into the liner. We, we're going to have to go outside and really talk about this. this we're not ready yet, but this is insane. <laughs> we're done. Do you want to use a Milani Make It Last spray? It's supposed to be the best okay, spray, setting spray in the business. All right, we're going to make it last. You always want to prep it away from your... Prep it away. Spray it over there. Don't yeah, do the first spray on. That's a good tip. Because it can spatter. Close your eyes. I like the mist. It's like... It's, it's soft. Like, yes, exactly. It's soft okay. mist. So people love that. All right, this is my drugstore makeup in broad daylight. 100% drugstore. We use NYX, we use L'Oreal, we use Ma Maybelline, we use Neutrogena, Neutrogena we use think, Milani, yeah. we mm -hmm. use CoverGirl spray. So all drugstore and I think we did great. You looked great. I think we and did great. You know, it looks great like this, but you look amazing on camera as well. It lasted, it performed, it did great under the lights. You were glowy. It was beautiful. Like if I went to the Met Gala and said to you, we are only using drugstore makeup, would you have the guts to do it now? Yesterday, no. Today, yes. Christopher Buckle did this makeup 10 hours ago. So I have learned we are doing too much. It is unnecessary. It is breaking out our skin. And we're doing it just because we're seeing influencers and we're wasting and just spending money as are our kids and you just don't need all this nonsense.